Hey, what's good on YouTube? Mike here from Team Viewer Y. And so we managed to get our hands on the Google Pixel 7. And yeah, this has been a long time coming. I am pretty excited for this phone. And I just want to share with you guys my initial thoughts and impressions on this smartphone. And yeah, let's get started. Now the Pixel 7 series takes over for Google's Pixel 6 smartphones from last year and they do come with some improvements in terms of design and internal specs. And yeah, if you want to check this out, I will drop some links below as well as some links to our other Pixel videos here on the channel. With that said, let's get to the video. Alright, so let's start off with the outside. In terms of design, the Pixel 7 is very similar to the Pixel 6 from last year. You still get the rectangular design with the single hole punch camera in the display. And of course, you do get the glossy back, which now is Gorilla Glass Victus alongside the front panel. Although there have been some changes in terms of design. So the side railing is no longer just black. It does vary depending on which color you get for your smartphone. We have the snow version here and we do get a silver side railing and one major design design change this year is that the camera visor is now more of a camera bar since it integrates into the aluminum sides. And yeah, this kind of reduces lens flare and it does mean less scratches for your camera module. Unfortunately though, we do lose out on the two-tone color design and I do know that some people enjoy that look. It's not that big of a deal for me in terms of color, but yeah, so far it's a solid design. It's something that worked in Google's favor and it does give the Pixel series an identity of its own. Now we do have a smaller display from last year, which is now 6.3 inches. I gotta say it's closer in size actually to the Pixel 6a. Now even though that has a smaller display, it does have thicker bezels, so it's almost a very similar size. Now personally, I do find it lighter compared to the Pixel 6, and yeah, I do like the somewhat more compact feel. Now inside we do get 8 gigs of RAM and of course we have the Google Tensor G2 which comes with improvements to AI and machine learning capabilities. This one is the 128 gig storage version. Of course there is no micro SD card expansion here which is the norm for Pixel phones. And due to the slightly smaller size this year we do get a smaller 4355 milliampere battery. It is slightly smaller than what you get on the Pixel 6 so there will be some reservations in terms of battery longevity. Now, of course, we do get added biometrics this year with face unlock, but unlike what you get on Apple, face unlock is mostly restricted to unlocking your phone. So you won't be able to use it to validate purchases and stuff like that. And you will still have to use the fingerprint sensor for unlocking the phone, making purchases and other similar functions. Now, speaking of the fingerprint sensor, I gotta say it's a bit faster, I guess. It's not totally a revolutionary speed compared to the Pixel 6 fingerprint sensor, but it's a bit more responsive, which I do like. And in terms of speed, the face unlock feature is relatively fast as well. So far, I haven't really had any trouble with it. And even in slightly darker environments, face unlock still manages to work nicely. Now as for speakers, you do get dual speakers on the top and bottom of the phone and they are pretty loud and clear, which is more than what I can say for a ton of other mid-range and budget flagships out there. And yeah, check out this sample. Alright, so let's move on to the highlight of this phone, which is the camera. So you do get three cameras on the Pixel 7. You get a 15 megapixel main sensor, a 12 megapixel ultrawide lens, and on the front, you do get a 10 megapixel ultrawide selfie camera. You can zoom out and maybe fit more people into your selfie photo or video. Now it can shoot 4K video with up to 60 frames per second, and it does have electronic and optical image stabilization. Now, so far, I have been impressed with the camera performance on the Pixel 7. Of course, at the time of this video, I've only had it for a few hours, but so far I do like its performance. It's definitely better than the Pixel 6a, which does have some limitations due to the somewhat older camera hardware. It's got solid portrait mode. The zoom quality, while not on the same level as the Pixel 7 Pro, is still pretty good. And I gotta say that I think it is slightly better than the zoom images that we got on the Pixel 6. But of course, photo quality is always subjective and some people will prefer what you get on other phones. But personally, I do prefer what Google manages to do with the Pixel cameras. 
Now as for battery, again, you have to remember that I'm recording this video just hours. So it's definitely a first impressions video. And so far the battery has been decent. I've had to charge it once though, after installing my apps using data. And of course I will update you guys with more battery performance samples in future Pixel 7 videos. And the same goes for gaming. So far gaming on the Pixel 7 is smooth. I tried running XCOM 2 on the phone, which is something that I usually do on my other Pixel phones because it's such a heavy game to run. And so far, the Pixel 7 was able to run it without lags or freezing or any serious stutters. Now it did get warm though, which is something to take into consideration. But considering that the phone is still setting up my apps in the background, I still have to check in the long term if heating during gaming is going to be a problem for this phone. And in terms of connectivity, I haven't run into any problems yet. I get decent 5G speeds with my data. I've had no Wi-Fi signal drops which are things to take note of if you're curious about that stuff. So yeah, as far as first impressions go, I am liking the Pixel 7. The updated design looks good, the display looks good, speakers sound nice. Like I said, I will have to create future content to update you guys on battery and performance, but so far it's turning out to be a very solid smartphone. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.